Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. As always, if you want to see another episode tomorrow, leave a like and I'll do another daily video. And last episode, I didn't actually mention that, I thought I'd do a little experiment and uh, we got a lot less likes. So I'll continue to remind you guys, I do really want to do these videos daily because they are absolutely awesome. So much fun to do. And yes, the city here is looking amazing. I love it. I love just like flying around and staring at this place. And there's not too much to talk about because I haven't done too much in between episodes. But if we come over here and I click on this, you can see that some of our residential zones have actually kind of decreased. You can see people have moved out. I'm pretty sure this was all full up at one point. And this area over here is still suffering a little bit. So we need to expand our city. And what we're actually going to do in this episode is do a little bit of expansion that probably won't help with that problem. It's going to be an aesthetic thing. We're going to look at this beach right here. I think I might have to move those water pumps as well. The idea is that we're going to make this a nice and pretty beach. So where the trees are right now is going to be our last zoned off area. And I've decided that what we're going to put down here is a little bit of commercial and offices. And the reason why is because they won't generate a lot of traffic, although the commercial will, but the offices won't. And then from there we're going to build some paths that extend out across the beach and add down some parks and things like that as well. And it should all look good. But before we get to any of that, there's actually something I want to do that you guys have suggested to me with our policies. Apparently if we select these things right here, the small business enthusiast and the big building enthusiast, no, that's actually called Benefactor, not Enthusiast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if we select these two right here, they should increase the profits of our commercial areas. So just by clicking on these, I think we might initially see our budget plummet down towards the negative. Uh, it just jumped up by 1,000. And then another 1,000. <laughs> and how much higher will that actually go? Okay, it's going up. It goes straight up. That's amazing. That's actually really crazy. Because that's just a straight way to make your buildings more profitable, I guess. You put down the policy, and then they generate more money instantly, it seems. And wow, look how much that is going up. That is amazing. Oh my god. 20,000? 21,000? I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. No way. It looks like it's going to hover around 21,000. And now actually it's climbing back down again. Okay, now it's staying at 21,000. That's awesome. That makes a huge difference. I'm really glad um, that you guys told me about that. So thanks for the comments and to anyone else who plays this. It looks like these two are a really good option. As you saw there, there wasn't like an initial risk where we went into the negative. It seemed to just be positive from the get-go. Now this thing right here can be moved. That's the first thing we're going to do in this area. And we're going to dump it down all of it over here. We actually plan on kind of rebuilding um, a lot of this area. So can I attach it to that road? Yes, and then that will connect the grids because, as you saw there, it removed a couple of power lines, but that's no problem. So yeah, what are we going to do in this area? Well, this commercial area will probably stay now. However, what I wanted to do was put a pass-through track on this. A lot of you were saying that for all the traffic we get, and that was interesting, I was expecting that guy to go through to the next station. But for all the traffic that we get and the problem that we have with the trains, which we probably still do have... Yep, they're still stuck on the tracks. Apparently having some tracks that go past the station um, will help. So it's like a bypass. And that's what I want to put in here. But I also kind of want to keep this commercial area as well. Because obviously that's helping us generate money. And look at this. It's actually dropping back down while I waffle on here. It's gone down by another 5,000. So it's probably going to stabilize. I think it was at around 7,000 when we started. So it's still doing good. Uh, but it's interesting that it's dropping now. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, so I think what we're going to do, it's going to be smart to remove this. This was just temporary anyway. Um, we're going to put in that bypass track. We're going to find a place where we can pull people across from this area without creating any traffic issues. Because there are some one-way roads around here we've got to be cautious of. And looking at this, this is a two-way road. And it would probably be wise to upgrade it to the higher density since we're going to be working with that. No. No. Apparently I can't upgrade it. That's because I've selected the one-way road. Okay, so there we go. A higher density for these. And uh, that's split up into two sections. There isn't any traffic lights there, though, so that's fine. In fact, we might as well upgrade all of these. And look at that. All the parked cars disappear as well. I noticed that before. And then I think I was going to keep my eye on it to see if they ever reappeared. So loads of cars have been displaced. And when you look at this six-lane road right here, they're not parking. So I wonder where they go and park, then, if they can't park on a six-lane road. That's fascinating, actually, because, like, wh where are they going and parking now? I don't know. 
Strange stuff. So this road up here is the one that was uh, always a six lane road. I just want to look for a few more. I don't see any parked cars on them. That's interesting. And over here, look, parked cars. Fascinating stuff. I don't know if there's any like consequence or bonus, perhaps, from having parked cars outside the buildings. Um, I got a feeling that maybe not. Maybe it doesn't really matter, but it's an interesting idea because if there's some sort of consequence for not having parked cars, then there's a good reason to use the four-lane roads, and then that makes it a little more strategical. But this is the kind of stuff I'm waiting for the community to figure out. People who look into the code, you know, poke around and figure out how the game works. That is something that I would like to know. So anyway, I'm waffling on, like I always do. We're going to uh, modify this road here. And uh, yeah, like I said, bring a road through, get rid of this commercial and set this area up. So I have a little bit of a plan formulating here and I was just dealing with some wonky roads, you know, where you've got little roads that steer off to one side a little bit more. When you come back and put them out again, you're going to find that they'll be uh, displaced from the grid. So you can see there that it's slowly edging further and further towards this road which means our tiles aren't going to line up and they're not going to be very efficient so by pulling out from the middle road here we're going to identify where to put the roads correctly so in this gap right here we're going to have our station and then we're going to have like a bypass track as well and then what I'm thinking we're going to do is try and build this nice big curved road going around here background from one side to the other and these are one-way roads the reason I've decided to do it like this is because these sections right here are bad for traffic but also adding lots of little sections close to each other, you know, little stops like this one right here, for example, uh, that really does slow down traffic when, you know, you've got lights every so often. So by putting it on the crossroads, it's going to be a little bit better. Uh, but if you have a look here, we've got a one-way road on this side, and this is also a one-way road, which just reduces the amount of turns and possible traffic that you're going to have there. So same thing over here, we've got a one-way road and another one-way road there. So it's not going to be quite as bad as if you could go from one road in any direction. Hopefully that makes sense, but what I want to do now is try and get a nice big semicircle curve around here, and I think it's going to be quite challenging. Let's have a look. So if we grab the right road tool, and we go for this one right here, let's say we come down to the edge like that, parallel with this road, and then we curve it across. That was surprisingly good. That <laughs> looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Except this curve might be a little bit off, unless we pull it back to around there. That actually looks pretty good, I feel. Yeah, that looks really nice. But how do I know it's the same curve as the other side, you see? It looks alright. It could be a little bit more efficient. If we have a look at the grid sizes here, you can see that they're 4 by 3 And actually, they're the same on that side. So that looks really good, but I'm wondering if we can improve that a little. Let's just have a look where it starts and ends. So we use this road tool right here. So that's where it begins, is it not? Is it going to snap to it? Do we have the old snap tool on? I'm not sure. It looks like it starts there. Yeah, that's where the curve starts. And then if we drag it all the way across here, that's where it should end on this side. So we almost got it right. Let's delete this road right here. And uh, let's press B on the keyboard. That makes it a little bit quicker. The reason why I'm showing you this stuff is because I want you, if you play it, to be able to kind of learn from it and, uh, and take this into your own world when working with roads. So now if we go over here, this looks like roughly where we want it to meet up, right there. So we'll put that line down, and then we want one in the middle, and what I should have done is looked at the grid to give myself uh, a rough idea. So let's undo that again. Let's just hold down, click, and whiz across like that. And having the zones open helps you see uh, where the roads, the, the curve of the road begins, because you can see it just there where it starts to tilt to one side. Okay, so let's try that again. We're going to come all the way over to there, and it's kind of hard to tell. We're going across by three. So it's not going to be quite in the middle. I do believe the middle is just right there. Okay, so we bring that down to that section of road. Looking good. Then we... This is actually going to take a little bit. Let me uh, let me whiz through this quickly because I know what we've got to do now. We need to create a square with the road up here. And wow, that is actually really hard to tell. There we go. I got it right. That's good. Sometimes you've got to wing it a little bit. I think it's right there. And there you go. So we can tell that that came down the same length as this road because all our grid lines are straight. So now what we want to do is make little markers with these corners. In fact, these roads are so big, I probably didn't need to do that. I could have just deleted like these sections right here. Let's try that and see. Oh dear, I was making a big mess of that. I missed out a couple of things and made it more complicated. So I probably edited some of that out. 
really important thing to do here is to make sure that this is the same length as this right here and that it's a right angle and then that way when you join these two roads together you're going to be able to uh, make sure it's like the, the perfect curve. Anyway, I know the length of this road so if we go down to the third bit right there and at the moment it's not snapping. I've turned off the snap tool somehow. Apparently now I've got to hold it in. How did that change? There you go. So if I hold down alt it will turn it off and if it's the other way around it will turn it on. That's really cool actually, but we want it on by default, and if we go down here, you can see that's uh, 3 and it's 3 and 2, so we extend out by 2 and then pull around there. And that should actually be the perfect curve now on the road. It looks like it the way the zones are laid out, so we just got to do the same thing over on this side as well. Alright, so here's where things get interesting. Let's first of all talk about what we've actually done in this area, and let's zone it as well. This is mainly going to be offices I think we should put offices in the middle area and on the outside maybe some commercial but we do have a high demand for offices so that is going to be good I think the easiest way to zone all of this is to go like so and I haven't really thought about services we might need to put a fire station in this area or something like that but for now all of this right here is going to be offices and all of this inner ring right here so I've designed this with those ring roads right there being um, as perfect if that's the word you want to use as possible you know um, they are pretty much the same curve as this one on the outside but slightly smaller and I put some bus routes in here as you can see which is pretty cool so they're already coming around and looking to drop people off so lots of people will be coming into this area to work and actually it looks like a really nice extension of that office area and probably should be part of the same district I think so let's quickly wrap that around I'll make all of that perfect in a moment and that seems to be snapping to the road I'm pretty sure that was snapping to the road right there. You saw it kind of jump off, look. It snaps to the road, that's awesome, I did not know that. That is very, oh, I accidentally right click. That's very useful to know. And I think it snaps to that smaller road as well. So there we go, that area right there is now um, part of the one up above. Let's just connect that all up right like that. Very cool stuff. And then what we're gonna do is add some buildings on these little paths that come out. Now what I'm thinking is, we know that the smallest commercial buildings are not the best for land value but maybe for aesthetics they would be so I'm thinking if we were to set up a row of shops like this let's do that on each road and let people move in in fact I want to speed up the game while we do that oh yeah that's that's right we can go across the road cool stuff and um, what we'll do is we'll put in some paths and stuff around it and no one's moving in <laughs> maybe they don't like the dirt road I thought it looked really cool because it's a beach let's have a look in fact, rows of them probably won't be the best. Just having a few roads and paths and the occasional one popping up would look alright. So we have demand for this, but it looks like maybe they're not going to take it. I'll give it a little bit of time, but I'll show you what my plan was. If we add in these footpaths, sort of going off the side and uh, connecting up in various places. Uh, actually, I think we'll probably cut it off right there. Space already occupied. Oh yeah, I'm clicking on the road. So we could have them meet up like that. And then we can have little paths that go down and around into the beach. I don't think this looks too great at the moment. I'm going to have to think about it a little bit more. I think some trees might make a big difference here. So a few little paths going off like that. What I'd like to be able to do is put out like uh, beach chairs and, and and beds, sunbathing beds, you know. And then that will probably look pretty cool. So these palm trees around the paths here probably laid out a bit will make them look a fair bit nicer. I'm not the best for this making it look pretty stuff, I've got to say, but as we put down a few more, it's probably going to make um, a lot of sense right here. No commercial buildings yet. <laughs> probably take a while for that. And actually, that's looking all right. I might have overdone it a little bit. Kind of looks like uh, a nicely maintained path now, doesn't it? So if we had a whole bunch of those going around the beach, what would it look like? Probably a little bit odd, so I think once there's some buildings in place. There we go, we've got some down here. They actually look quite fitting, but I feel like having them side by side is probably going to be a bit much for what we want. They also want some water as well, which is something I haven't considered. <laughs> Alright, I'm figuring this out now. Look at this little area over here. This does look a fair bit better. These bushes right here are pretty cool. The paths sort of weaving in and out of the shops look alright and a moment ago these buildings disappeared. Let's just demolish them again. I was looking at that area over there and I was thinking that's great, that worked. But what worked exactly? I put down a little park area for these buildings 
around the outside and I put down a policy for no high rises and I thought that might get rid of those slightly taller buildings but it looks like it's not going to so it might be a case of just demolishing them or maybe I never did demolish them because none of them have come back there's none over there either maybe that does make it work we'll find out but yes um, if you have a look right here this looks much nicer than this path right here that's because you can of course use the curve tool with them so I'm thinking that with this something like those palm beaches going down uh, this road right here either side leading out to the one at the front will look really cool so let's put down a few of those and then on the other side as well in fact it might have been nicer if I tried to get them parallel on either side but whatever for now we'll just do a little experiment like that let's press the first person view uh, oh yes that's right this thing doesn't work it seems to fly us over here <laughs> never mind let's zoom in a little bit and I think we can see actually from down here that this looks pretty cool doesn't it actually now we're kind of like in the first person mode I think are we I'm not sure either way that looks really nice down here very nice view and I think this is the way we're going to do it with paths going around like this. So at the moment I'm thinking what other details can we add down here on the beach. There isn't really too much apart from the occasional bush like this I think just to uh, kind of give you more to look at I suppose. Um, we could put down a park somewhere but that would mean we'd need a road and also the parks are going to negatively affect our commercial in the area which isn't the biggest of priorities but it's uh, not the greatest thing to do. Maybe a park in this little area over here would be a good idea for the offices, which is something I might do. I might squeeze one in. But other than that, I can't really think of anything else of detail we could put in this area. Now, we could put a monument in somewhere here as well. Considering this is a commercial area, we've got the Posh Mall and we've got the Mall of Moderation. And then we've got these buildings as well. Now, something like that looks pretty cool, but maybe not suitable for this area. What is it? Is it the tax office? Yeah. An observatory, an opera house, yeah, and then we get into the really big stuff over here. Can't wait to build these things. We've got to get on building those soon. I think what I'm probably going to do is put the Mall of Moderation in this area, and we'll save the Posh Mall for our super commercial area, which is something I might do soon, actually. I kind of want to expand industrial and uh, the population of our city a little bit as well. And look at this over here. Um, let's go and have a look at parks. Yeah, they're not really too happy around here, are they? I think we need a few more parks in the odd place. It looks like there'll be space for something. I'll come back and fix all of that, probably uh, in between episodes and stuff. So yeah, anyway, let's continue with this parving. I'm going to delete this right here. It looks silly. Let's say goodbye to all of those trees and the paths as well. And look at that. It deletes trees when you click on it first. Uh, but it ignores the paths. And if I click on the paths, it ignores the trees. We're learning things every minute, it feels like. Oh, good stuff. Alright, it's coming along well. And this next tip, I think, is going to be a little bit hit and miss for some of you. But uh, what I like to do is just draw some dots like that. Except those weren't too, too close to the path, were they? Let's just come around like this. Just space out your clicking and add a little bit more detail. You see, it's just tiny little bushes that add a couple of extra dots, but they seem to just make a huge difference, I feel, to the to the way the paths are. They make them look a little more used and lived in. And there you go. It looks really strange. It was an experiment, but I think it turned out um, pretty cool. We just need more options for aesthetic things in this game, you know? A few more building types and other things. And that's one of the things I am a little bit disappointed with this game is the amount of models that were put into this for different building types. You see a lot of the same building like over and over again with a few details about it changed, like a little icon on the front and you don't have too much control over it as well. It would be really nice if we could manipulate um, some of that stuff and yeah, it's looking alright. Anyway, we want to focus on this area over here now. Be sure to let me know what you think of this. I think it's cool trying to do something different. Didn't look too great but I do like this little area here with all of the paths and by the way these buildings keep reappearing. I think it's because of the tall buildings over here. They're kind of having an effect on those ones so we'll leave them like that for now. You can see I've started paving out this over here so I've decided that our in and out road for this traffic will be over here. We're going to have a one-way in road right here and we'll probably have a couple of out roads maybe going across there although we've got the train tracks in the way as well. Um, some of these are one-way roads I do believe. Well, maybe not. I've seen traffic going up and down both ways. No, they're not at all, so I'm not sure if it would be a good idea to add yet another junction over here, but I'll see. We'll zone out this area. We're going to put another monument down. We're going to put in the uh, Mall of Moderation, and we'll have some residential and commercial mixed in this area. 
Just added a couple of plazas in again, and I love this. You can see the effect straight away. These buildings in the middle started upgrading to the uh, to the higher level, and uh, I just noticed a big difference between the offices. You can see the lower ones around here, and the higher ones here, like in the background. It's looking good. Alright, this area over here has been expanded. I was going to make it partially residential, but there's absolutely no demand for it. We also have that area over there, so I'm thinking actually we'll probably make this all offices in this area. But the way I've zoned it, you can see, using little bits of paths again, just to do the trick where we don't zone any of the small buildings, which is actually working out really well, it feels like. And then we've got the mall over here, so we need to add a few bus stops for that. But I think what I'd be wise to do is just to uh, make all of these... And this is getting a little bit annoying now, having to switch between the two tools to do the zoning. But I think all of this being offices makes uh, a lot more sense at this point. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then I think our services coverage in the area can be um, a little less as well. And there we go, made another little mistake. Let's just uh, unzone that. So we're almost finished here with our little expansion. Just got to finalise the details. And you'll notice that my income has dropped right down again, which is kind of annoying. I'm wondering what happens if I remove that policy that we added, because we're back down to where we were before we added it. And this is probably going to be uh, quite bad for the city, but let's give it a try. So let's say we remove both of those. What happens to our income, considering it's gone back down to where it was before? It drops drastically. That's kind of worrying. That is very worrying. Considering we've added no more services, all we've added is two parks and zoned more areas, which should mean more taxation income. That's kind of weird, the way it behaves like that, you know. But there you go, you saw it happen. So anyway, I'm going to finish tidying up this area, and, uh, and then we'll probably be calling it a day. Well, it's been a nice expansion to our city. It's good to see the trains going straight past there. That's why we built uh, the little track like that. And this area has turned out pretty good. Added a fire station and uh, added some bus routes and things I guess are going pretty well however our income has kind of leveled out to where it was at the beginning again and uh, over in this area we should see some expansion because we've got some residential demand at last which is cool but there you go the city is looking amazing we finished this bit of the island up over here I imagine our next expansion will be through this area right here our industrial area and then when we build more in the future I think I'd like to space things out a little bit more because we've built an awful lot of stuff rammed close together but it does look very cool and remember to leave a comment let me know what you want to see uh, me do in the city give me some ideas etc but that's it for this episode again leave a like 2000 today and we'll have another episode tomorrow as always thank you very much for your support and i'll catch you next time